You know when you was in school and you wanted to punk hair and you can never get it because the hairdressers don't know how to cut soon hair? Well, turns out if you bleach your hair and damage it enough, it will break off and you can rock that scene. Hey guys, I'm back with another video today. Today I thought I'd do a hair video because my hair is a bit wild. I've also shaved the side of my head since the last time you see me. Basically, I've only dyed this a week ago and I really hate it. It was supposed to be a Christmas kind of thing and it's like up here is like, um, what's it called? Arctic Fox Sunset Orange and to be honest, I don't even like it. It's so expensive. Shift is more than natural bloody product. If you live in the USA, then it'd probably be a good dye for you. See, cause down here is brown. I've always had it brown. And I had it quite white blonde up here. So that's why it looks so bright. But I was here and I tried to bleach it and then I put green on it. And it didn't even come out, like, half of it is still brown. This may end up being a massive fail hair colour dye video. Damaging my hair so Look at the bleach is like, look what it is done. It's made my hair so, like, short. It is so damaged that like, I'm ready to, like, just do a big chop and just get rid of it all. So I'm kind of, like, self-sabotaging it in a way because I want to start fresh with healthy hair I'm not sure when I'm planning to cut it off basically when I've got all the crazy colours out of my system and I've got green, blue then I'm going to go to purple the only colour I wouldn't have done was yellow but maybe I'll stick that in somewhere but look my hair is actually pretty long I do think, I'm thinking of maybe cutting it. I don't want like a bob, but maybe a few inches. Because right now, my hair, well, my belly button's here. So my hair just about goes to my belly button, nearly. So, uh, so maybe if I cut it to like the boob area like two inches off maybe I don't know but this hair's a mess also my do voiceover in editing because I don't want this video to be 20 hours long I haven't even said what I'm doing today so I'm gonna attempt to do a colour removal from L'Oreal it actually doesn't have any instruction on it so I don't know what I'm supposed to do but I have watched people on YouTube use this and someone said to use 20 developer but I've only got 30 so very well had to do all the instructions are basically in French so what's a girl good to do so it looks like that Okay, from what I can see, that the orange is lifting, but the green isn't. <laughs> Yay me! But I guess it doesn't matter if the end, like this part, the green is doesn't, because I really, well, basically, I want all of it green. So, but I also want to try and get this brown out, because it's that like green brown. Okay, so you can definitely tell the it's working on the root because this is like a before and this is a during. Look how light it's gone. It's gone from like a reddy orange to like a neon bright orange. So 
So I'm going to leave that on and let's start on this side. So now this side is done and as you can see it's getting lighter. I'm going to try the Joyco Color Intensity Eraser. And this one actually has instructions. I'm probably going to speed this up, this section, because I don't want this video to be forever. Oh wow, look how that's lifted. I'm kind of worried that it's going to lift my root and then kind of make it orange. Because <laughs> I won't plan into like dye my root. But obviously it's kind of hard to miss that out. This one's proper burning my eyes now, so. Well, we'll see if it works better. If it doesn't work better, then I'll definitely be using L'Oreal because it didn't really burn your eyes. I don't actually like have high hopes and I don't believe this will make me go blonde. It, oh, that smell and it's over the window. And it's starting to sting a bit, so. Or tingle. So. This side might have to come off first. Okay, so I might have to do my roots because I'm starting to see my roots go blondy orange. And I can't have half my root blonde and half my roots brown. Okay, so that is my hair done. So the L'Oreal's on this side and the Joyco's on this side. They're already lifted so much. This is a going near enough basically blonde. And this is going neo orange now. So I'm going to leave that on, wash it off, come back to you. I'm not going to do this all in one night because I kind of need to get ready to go out. So, well, we'll see how it comes out. And then I'll show you me putting another colour on. And yeah, so stay tuned for the next section of this video. Okay guys, so I'm back to reveal the results and I am so 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 happy I did not expect it to come out the way it did and look I'm doing it I need to put conditioner in it because it's dry as hell what I'm gonna do is I think is put a conditioning treatment in it tonight and then tomorrow I could put the colour in but li literally look at even at my root and there might be a little bit there but like there's no green Oh. I do have a few from the orange on this side, I do have like kind of a peachy kind of undertone and it does look a bit yellow especially like down here like ginger yellow but on the roots it's like blondie, I look so weird blonde again but yeah it I'm pretty sure half of it fell down the drain. At least I know it works, so when I do dye my hair green blue, that it will come out somewhat. Well, my hair was green and it did come out, so <laughs> yay for that. So shall we rate these two products and which one's better? This is the L'Oreal side. So from what I gathered, it's... Well, L'Oreal was more expensive. It was about 3 25 You got less product in it because it was a smaller packet. It doesn't burn your eyes, it didn't make your head tingle, burn, whatever you want to call it. I would say, and it worked pretty fast I would say. To be honest with you, they both look exactly the same. So it's just about what you prefer I guess. But this side I will say has got, it pretty much got, it's got all the orange out, even the ends are like light blonde. Whereas on this side, it's like a peach, I've got peachy orange streaks still in it. So in terms of going blonde, this would probably be better for you. On this side, the Joy Co, it did burn tingle, both my head and my eyes. It took a little bit longer. The packet is bigger and it is cheaper, it's 2 50 But I mean, you're going to spend £1 more to get 
blunder, quicker results. They both make your hair feel the same, straw like, so I'm definitely gonna have to cut my hair off because. <laughs> I'm sure no one wanted to see that. But it's the truth, so, you know. Next video will be like, I shaved my hair off because I made myself bald. Hey guys, so it's a couple days later and I'm back to dye my hair the green. I'm kind of worried. First of all, the idea of dyeing your hair green and blue is not something I'm dreaming of considering those are the worst colours to ever, ever get out of your hair. And I'm also doing the opposite to what most people do. Most people have like green or whatever colour hair and they use colour remover to make it blonde. Especially if they're going to an interview or whatever. <laughs> well, it's 11 o'clock a.m. which is why I've got good lighting today. But also, I've got an interview at 2 o'clock and I'm probably making the wrong decision dyeing my hair green to go there but it's like, if they can't accept you for who you are and all that, it's not like Hair colour changes your work skills, so well, they say anything, and I can be like, I'll dye it back, and they just stick a wig on. <laughs> As you can see, my ends are really orange, and the top is really blonde. That's not to do anything with the um, colour remover because when I started bleaching, dyeing, and all that in my hair, I was only doing the top bit, I left the bottom bit brown. So the bottom ends have actually only had like one bleach dye on it and technically a colour remover. So that's the only reason why they're that colour. <gasps> well I've just dropped my first bit but oh so green. See how dark it is like in the tube but then it goes on super light. I actually feel a lot better about that. Well, it's going more on my top than it is in my hair. That is so vibrant. That's not the way to show it. Ooh. What is that? Oh my God. This part of my hair is still brown, like it literally didn't... Did I not put colour remover on it? Like... It's only like a couple strands, but like... I'm very confused. I'm gonna have to just dye the whole thing green. I look like a piece of seaweed. I'm gonna start with turquoise. I just wanna show you the color. So that basically looks like a deep, deep neon blue. But I'm hoping it's, it comes out light like this. This looks actually blue, like. Turquoise is supposed to be green. Turquoise is so weird, like it looks blue, but then in my hair it looks green. Okay, I feel better now. Now I can see both the roots. They don't look that much of a difference.
Okay, so I just looked at the clock and it's 12 o'clock. I'm running out of time. My appointment is in two hours. I've still got to leave the house and be there. And I haven't even washed this off yet. You know what? I've still got to do my makeup, find an, an interview outfit, pack my bag. So, yeah, let's leave this here so I can get this out of my head. Apple green, turquoise. And now we will wait. I wanted to show you the outcome and this is what it looks like. Just stick it up. Oh my God, I think I just did something. You know what, I'm just going to put it up in the bun right now because it is kind of highly annoying me. Oh my god. Why I need to just have it up because when it's up and you can't see all the broken ass pieces at the front of my head. Turquoise side and the apple green side. I'm getting so high. We love we love our baby hairs, which I don't think is baby hairs because my hair is just broke. It's broke broke. <laughs> my hair is broke, just like me. 